Welcome back to Common Rider Review, episode number 52. This one's discussing episodes 29 to 35 of Common Rider Stronger. My original plan for this was to stop at 34, but I want to stop at 35 because it's the end of the first batch of monsters. That's simply put the reason for it. Yes, now as for the monsters made debut in these episodes, at least I had a chance to fight Stronger. First of which, we have Dr. Kite, who basically appears here with Staff Officer Stronger, who gets killed off in episode 29. Yeah, his weakness is actually her, Dr. Kite's poison gas. Which, and here's the thing, I can't find much about Dr. Kite, but her voice sounds a lot like... Get this. It sounds a lot like the actress who played Queen Hedder in Denzy Man. I'm sure it's the same voice. I'm sure it is, but I've never heard any credit for that one. For some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, here's the strange though. Uh, Dr. Kate, despite the fact looking like a male, clearly is voiced by a woman. The whole thing with her is, is just trying to poison people with her, with her flowers. That's simple the reason for it. And her power is used to take down Staff of Stronger. And basically she's taking care of the next episode, though... Sadly, in the case of episode 30, which, by the way, this is the one when they start having Baron Mask here. Uh, it's a Baron Mask. It's a Marshall Mask. A, 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 it's Marshall Skull, excuse me. This is the episode that sadly is the end of an electric human tackle. Yes, Yuriko dies in episode 30. Now, yeah, and she dies while absorbing some poison from Dr. Kate, and she dies. Though, uh, for some reason, next episode, he blames it on Marshall, Ma Marshall Skull and not Dr. Kate. I don't know why it's weird. So, Dr. Kate is eventually taken out by basically, her weakness is that fire's weakness. Yes, fire. Now, in 31, as part of the grieving process for... Yuriko's death. By the way, they actually I think when I read online apparently it was revealed that Yuriko was actually in love with with Joe. I can kind of buy I'm sure any lady probably find Joe very handsome. Yuriko, the actress who played, was a very beautiful woman from what I could tell. It's just sad she passed away back in the eighties. She uh from what I read she commits suicide. Yeah. Sad for that one. But in the case of basically her character in the show I thought she was an interesting character. I thought that her whole thing up basically where half the time she can't hold it her own unless Joe is there a lot of the time. And Joe keeps telling her to stay off certain things even though she doesn't listen to him. And and then of course she leaves. Now here's the thing. In 29 she doesn't transform at all. You, you barely see her in episode 29. It's like she appears like a couple brief times. She gets maybe like five minutes of screen time in a 22 minute episode. Yes, and then she has one more time, and then she dies in the following episode. She says, oh yeah, I want to slow him down. That's the reason why, basically, that to help her just deal with Dr. Kate. And, of course, they care in episode 30. Now, my guess is the actors probably want to leave the show due to the fact that, and this is my personal theory, I think that the she probably felt as though her character show was done once Black Satan was taken care of. She probably felt as though her character was just there, just not be utilized. She probably felt as though this is just, uh, like, okay, she felt that her story was done. Like, Black Satan was done. They've eliminated Black Satan. We have this new Denzel army. We don't need him to have her around. So, let's have her killed off roughly four episodes into the Denzel army arc. Yes, yeah, so that'd be a poisoning. Okay, interesting, very heroic sacrifice. Now, Baron, now Marshall, Ma Marshall Skull does take care of her next episode, though this does lead into <laughs> General Wolf showing up. Though on, on the sub I watched, they've heard him as Secretary of State Wolf, where he's the descendant of the Wolf Man. No joke, he apparently claims that the head of his clan is the little Wolf Man for the Universal Monster movies. Though the painting looks a little different with like blood on his shoulder. Yeah, I thought this is kind of weird. Though, that's not the only monster reference here we get here. So, by the way, he's taking care of with episode 32. And he's also working with... Get this. Uh, this you might find interesting of a name. 
almost forgot about this this, this guy here um before general wolf uh there was also baron rock yeah this guy's a bit of an idiot he gets killed off in episode 32 the same episode that now I might just go kill off 31 and baron rock is there for a couple of those he basically is like oh you turn into a rock he he takes some time to be beaten he's a, he's a really and of course uh general shadow refers to him as a bit of an idiot which he kind of is and of course <laughs> Now here's the thing. Uh, Strong called him a blockhead, and he and of course he his response was, "You dare call me stupid." He called you a blockhead. He didn't call you stupid. <laughs> yeah, though he's immediately taken care of. Now in the case of the new charge form. Now this one basically is like a variant of the stronger uh, costume, except that the the capital on his head basically is a little more not like whoosh like this basically it's more like more pointed up it's silver you got white in the shoulders we got the s spinning and the first person he uses this on is marshall Mar marshall skull he's immediately eliminated and of course he uses it also on baron rock and then of course with the whole thing with the wolf where he apparently get wanting to get stronger via the new the full moon because you know werewolves he also has this weird headpiece on him what the purpose of that is don't know i like his look basically a wolf wearing a military Ooh. i thought it was a really cool look for the character uh baron uh no, baron, uh marshall skull basically has got a good look for him too though he's basically like a walking corpse for him and then of course like right and of course immediately just in the, in the same episode where we see the end of secretary of state slash general wolf we see the debut of get this you hear this one? Commanding Officer Brunk. Which they confirm in this episode that he's actually a descendant of Frankenstein. <laughs> the Frankenstein monster. I'm like, that is so cool. And what I read online, apparently it was plans to include a version of Count Dracula in this series. But plans were scrapped. Yes, Count Dracula. There was going to be an earthworm monster. Let's see. There was also going to be a shell cyborg. Uh, even Earthworm Mummy. Though we got a mummy, we'll get to him. And of course, Brian's taking care of with episode 34. 34 is the debut of a brand new monster who appears in this episode, the following episode, and she does return one more time after this one, and then part of a, the end of all this. Snake Woman. Yep. A woman who was summoned by General Shadow because he's, well, he basically is running out of people to basically kill Stronger. So he summons her. Now she was not in episode 27 at all. She's just here for these two episodes in particular. And then she's gone. <clears throat> Though her thing is basically like she can hypnotize people. Put these like red skulls people's forehead. Trying to snake people. Meanwhile though they have where in Egypt. Not Egypt. Egypt. We see this cargo ship transporting an object to the... I think it's like the Hokea, I think that's how pronounce it, the harbor. And, of course, the box is brought there. Meanwhile, though, a man in black shows up, also from from Beijing. Who this is, I'll get to in a minute. And then, like, we see these, like, two gangsters who proceed to open the crate. And there's a sarcophagus inside. Like, oh, it's one of those Egyptian deals in the pyramids. And thing opens up and it's a mummy. And the mummy begins to unwrap and we get this. Marshall Machine. One of your final villains for the series. Yes. Which, look at this guy. He reminds me a lot of that, um, the ambassador, that, 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 the hell ambassador from, from Dency Man. He reminds me a lot of him. Though, in the case of this guy, this guy's not around as long as, uh, he's not around as long as the other guy was. The other guy was around for like about a dozen episodes. This guy's only around for a half episode he's done. Yep. And of course, then he ends up fighting, of course, basically, up the man in black. Who is, you might ask? B3! Making his first appearance since X. Yes. You see him in Transform, like, Hin Shen B3. Great to hear that again. First time since X. Like, it's been a while since I've heard that. He transforms, fights him, does a kick, goes in a casket, and flies away. 
Then he proceeds to ride his motorcycle. Well, his, his hurricaneer. Well, his, his her, her cycle. And he basically finds Stronger. He's taking on the Snake Woman, who are, he's about to be covered by her. And of course, and of course, Toshi is very happy to see him because they've known each other since the V3 series. Has to get the cloak, and of course, he voluntarily takes on Snake Woman by himself. He says, let me handle her. And then, <laughs> get this, Shadow shows up to take on V3. Now I'm thinking, how the heck would Shadow know about V3? What did he do, read a newspaper about him? Possibly. He fights him for a bit, and then once Snake Woman is defeated, Shadow's like, bye-bye, I'm out of here. And then we see, like, they, they of course, they agree to work together, and we're going to basically see him for the remainder of the series. V3. There's only four episodes of Dinger, by the way. And then meanwhile, though, back at, by the way, at the end of episode 34, we do see kind of the exterior of the, the Densi Army base. Which, by the way, used to be a Black Satan base. Yes. Now, they apparently can't find anything inside. That's, of course, when Marshall Machine shows up. And then the episode ends with Marshall Machine end up in the strategy room that General Shadow's been using. He, of course, is, like, usually very angry at one of his generals. He's, he was actually very quite sad. Snake Woman was basically killed. The way it was implied in the episodes, it seems like Snake Woman was in love with him. Yes. In love with General Shadow. Okay, I can kind of buy it. Like, oh, my sweet Shadow. It's like she had a thing for him. And I'm sure he may have known about it, but it's never really expressed here. It seems like that's basically what he... Of course, she had no desire to become leader of the Denzi Army. All she wants is basically just to impress, just to be with General Shadow. Like, okay. Now we're delving here, and of course, Marshall shows up here. Like, oh, now we got to begin our massive world takeover plan. Though, Shadow's not going to be in, in the position he is very long because it's never in the line. But I'm not going to go into detail about that right now. I'll do that later when I discuss the last four episodes of this series. Yep, but in the case of my final thoughts on Legend of Tackle, I think she's a good character. It's just that basically a lot of the time, I think that probably another reason why, aside from that story was wrapped up, I think a lot of the time the actress probably didn't like half the time how she was written, where like, she seemed like she could hold her own for a bit, and then she's immediately overwhelmed by about five grunts. And then she's able to get a win back in thanks to thanks to Joe showing up in a stronger form. Like apparently seeing him basically anytime is anytime she doesn't see him. It's like she loses her confidence. And she probably hated the writing of the character. That's my guess, anyways. She probably liked playing the character. I'm sure she did. I don't know because I've never met her. I've never met the actress who played stronger because she passed away back in the 80s. There's no way to meet her. And Stronger, the actor played in, passed away a decade ago. So, can't ask him either. The other part is I could ask, if I just meet anybody who worked in a common writer, is maybe one of the common writers. That might be something. But they probably got a guy with English translated because none of them speak English. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for Circular View. Uh, I'll be back for this one later on. Next up is going to be a Comic Corn and then two manga reviews. And I'm going to do two straight reviews for Baruto. Yep, next video. Bye.